I was 12 years old and I was diagnosed with type one. Um, it was a bit of a shock and, and you know what, not as much, it was, of course, to me, but more so uh, for my parents. Um, I don't know what it's like to be a parent. I don't have kids, so I can only imagine the stress that that goes under having your kid walk out and go to hockey practice, go to school, and then you being a little bit uncertainty and the uncertainty that comes with that and, and the safety that you're worried about. And obviously I was a pretty free spirited kid, like to be like everyone else. And when you have type one, there's certain things that you have to do that no one else has to. So it was a, it was an adjustment period for me personally. Um, and, and back then we don't even have the technology we do. That was geez, just over 10 years ago now. And, um, oh man, wow, I was 12, I'm 25 now. Holy smokes. I'm getting old halfway to 50. <laughs> wow. Um, you know what, but, um, you know, it's, it's come a long way. So I, I got the things that I wear, I wear a Dexcom G6, which is a continuous glucose monitor. And, and nowadays, I mean, whether it's my girlfriend, my, my trainer, my, my parents, whatever it might be, they can all monitor my blood sugar as well. They're alerted. Um, so there's lots of crazy technologies available now that make my life personally a lot easier as, as a pro athlete. And uh, I'm sure you guys can imagine how, how stressful it is to, to be an athlete with the travel, the, the back-to-back, the 82 game schedule, the practices, um, the ups and downs and of, of the emotions that come with playing um, in the NHL. Obviously you want to be your best every night, but uh, it's tough to do that. And especially when your blood sugar is fluctuating quite a bit, it's something you ought to be aware of and, and aware is on you mentally and, and both physically. So, um, it's been a, it's been a bit of an adjustment period for me and every single day, everyone's like, Oh, so like, what's your thing? And I'm like, guys, I have worked since I was 12 years old to develop my routine and, and I'm still adapting every single day. I'm, I'm making changes and alterations to, to what I do. And, and that's just the reality of what happens with your body and, um, it changes over time. You, you react to certain things differently. Um, and it's, it's great as an athlete, you have to be on top of that stuff anyway. So it's, it's really I've, I've spun it into a positive in any way I possibly can um, and, and try to use that to my advantage with, with being responsible with what I eat, my sleep, recovering, preparation, hydration, all of that good stuff. Uh, you need to do that to be the best version of yourself uh, as a pro hockey player anyways. So when you get forced to do it, it's, it's kind of a blessing in disguise. And that's the, that's the way I, I, I take the approach of looking at having type 1 diabetes on a daily basis.